Okay. Oh, it's the sequel. Uh, Channeling with the Virgo and the Pisces. Or okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Cut, Casper. That's wrapped. Whatever the part. Okay, so what I picked up on was your sister. She can't have babies anymore. Right. Because you said said after I said that was it struck me. And then um 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 I guess one of your sisters has the same eyes as you. Yeah, my with little, a, my little sister with the Lisa Silverstone looking hair. Yes. And um. Um, uh, um, well, she's really nice, I guess, and she, does she have, I don't know if these are sons or just two kids that she kind of hugs and stuff. Like, one of them's like a blonder kid, and he has like a pig nose, big nose, <laughs> like it's a wide yeah. nose. Yeah. And he looks kind of like he's going to be a midget, like he looks very buff for a tiny kid. Yeah. Like, you know. Big chest, big shoulders. Are you and, and, my house? No, and his <laughs> hair is like a bull haircut, sort of. Like, his bangs are just down. Oh, yeah. And he's blonde, and she hugs him, greets him. And then there's this other kid and this other girl who's really skinny, and she looks like you, too. And she has long brown hair. I don't know who that is. We all have the same eyes, too. Is that her daughter or not? Or just, mm -hmm. this, just some girl? Just some girl. I don't know, and it, I think it's because of school. It, it could be. From picking him up. And then there's this other guy with brown hair, and he just walks away. I don't know where he came from. And she wears hoodies, too. <laughs> I, I've just seen her with it, I think. I don't know. It could, and, have been my, could have been my boss from work. She's, she's like, young. She, she was, like, 19. And, um, she had dark hair, and she was skinny. Scoot it over here, try to scoot it. Here, stand up real quick. No, stand up. Get up. There you go. It's the show. <laughs> That's the show. Okay, um, my favorite colors. Well, beige is my favorite color, but these are polarity of each other colors, and that's so cool that we're polarity signs. Virgo, Pisces, purple, yellow. That's so funny. Okay, um, anyways, back to the reading. Um, um, are you exhausted with work? I mean, who isn't? But, um, I don't even know anything about this, but, um, I don't know. But you might have to go back into surgery or you're, you're worried about it? Yeah. Um, something about a reflux or something? Yes. And this, um, there's something in your intestines that is, like, plastic or something? It looks like a... Um, it looks like it's, it, it looks like, um, I don't know, I don't think that, that I'm talking about it correctly, but what it looks like to me is not what I think it probably originally is in there. On your intestines or whatever, there's like this plastic thing that's, but it's long. It's not supposed to be like that. Is that true? It's like a little plastic thing that's wrapped around your intestines or something. Um, is it white? To correct my hernia. They're supposed to put that in. But not in your intestines. Or is it yeah. in your intestines? Or is it on the outside? It's, um... It looks like a... It's, it's a coming... Form of like your belly button or something. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's... It's a tube, and then there's little... It's like an L-shaped tube. It's probably and then, my stomach. And then there's a red piece to it, too, like the twist. I don't know about that. The twist. I don't know. I don't know that I have anything for it. Inside right now. Okay, but, yeah. I mean, it could be something that they put in whenever they change, because they're gonna have to do. I think they more did surgery. it when they twisted it, uh, it, made it smaller. I don't know. That's just something, and I don't think it has anything with the gay gay pass surgery. <laughs> yeah, for gas pack surgery. Gat pack gas. Gas. Right? Yeah, yes. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with that, but it it might. I don't know. It just seems like it, but I don't think that that's inside of you now. I just think that I've seen it, and something that needs to be corrected that you're worried about that might be or might not be and your doctor um he has like
black hair ish mm-hmm. and um he he's like about to he says you, we might have to correct this or not but like re- try to reassure you make you feel like you're not worried but you're still worried about it yeah and um because I don't want to have to have surgery again I know, I know it is. because if I have to have surgery again I'll have to do a liquid diet yeah, yeah that's what I'm about to say liquid that's what I would say don't tell me nothing it's just all coming to me and I and I can't I'm trying to do one by one like you would have to like drips of <laughs> liquid is what I was saying for I guess liquid stuff and mm-hmm. green peas and you don't want to do that to and carrots and I like you're, that think, stuff. you're you're thinking it's of, just, I'm past that like I don't want to go back yeah so I think you were doing I think you were doing that so. like baby food before it was like it it was kind of like that and yeah. I'm like, you don't want to go back to green peas. That's what I was seeing. And I love green peas, but my dad hates green peas. I'm so allergic. Might be picking up from that. Maybe. And your dad has glasses? No. Oh. Well, I don't know who... The, are you wear glasses sometimes? I wear glasses. Okay. I have contacts in right now. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess... I'm a big nerd. <laughs> awesome. Well, maybe that's what I was seeing, because... But you're... Oh, you do have mustache and um, stuff well, in my visions. I, I thought you didn't have it in person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And I always thought that that's who your dad was, but no, you're I your own dad. I think when we first met, I didn't. I think okay. I didn't shave. Okay. Before and after. Um, what is this? July 20, 31st, 2020? Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Um, um, and he wears gloves and he digs in there too because that's your doctor. And he's the one at the desk, behind the desk, talking to you? Sometimes. Okay. When he wants to have a serious conversation or something, and then it's like really quiet in there. <laughs> like he tells yeah. you to close the door. Yeah. <laughs> and um, sometimes he wears glasses and sometimes he doesn't. Is that true or not? Um, I have so many doctors. Okay, well this is just one of them. And he have... he was the one that telling you about we may have to correct this or something, but try to reassure you and be like it'll be okay or something. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just trying to get into it because, like, it'll make my visions more clear and then I can yeah. hang on to that so I can go other places so I won't lose the light. I think he does wear, I mean, I think he wears glasses, but he's probably like me. He probably wears contacts sometimes. Mm-hmm. And something about running on a treadmill even at the hospital, or do you run on a treadmill at what, near this mirror? <laughs> like a gym? <laughs> no. Or some bullshit? I don't know, though. I need to, though. I don't know. Well, I just see, like, a mirror, and you're running in front of it, or he's suggesting to do this or something, or don't do this. It might erupt something. I don't really fucking know. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Or there was a... Is there a gym in that hospital where you went? I don't know. Something like, something like that. I have no clue. And, um, they sell drinks there, like, energy drinks, and that wouldn't be good for your stomach either, but that'd be ridiculous. I don't know, and this girl with glasses who was selling energy drinks, and she's really skinny, and she has a fake tan, and she has blonde hair, and she was there or something, selling energy drinks, or she was taking it. Is that true? Um, so there's this girl with fake tan, blonde fake boobs, hair. blonde hair, and yeah. she's really, really skinny, too skinny for anything. And yeah. she's wearing glasses. She, but, and she, but she didn't sell energy drinks, she sold, like, protein drinks. Oh, some kind of drinks. She was yeah. selling it there. While well, I was in it. Some girl, yeah. mm-hmm. really way too skinny. Yeah, and, way too skinny. And, and wears gla- a bottle top glasses. Oh, really? She's a, that bitch and not nutritional. No. <laughs> She's just a fake ass whatever. Thinks that this is nutritional because it's making me anorexic looking. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so healthy. No, bitch, you're not. And protein because that's all you're drinking is that protein shake, and you're not gonna do anything else. What right. the fuck? And you have a son? Does he have a son? Does she have a son? I don't know. Or probably. I, She's not there anymore. Like whatever, girl. Whatever. I do not believe in your product. Goodbye. Or how you're using it. <laughs> well, she would like... It could be okay, she but... She would make you feel like she was interested in your progress, but it was more She's just about herself. Yeah. Superficial. Like, is this is all what it is, yeah. She doesn't even know her... Um, yeah, whatever. She's not a Virgo like you. <laughs> 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 They're the nutritionists of the Zodiac. Um, okay. <sighs> And I was getting that, and, like, she's just, yeah, if she does have a son, I guess he's very neglected, <laughs> and she might take him wherever she goes, but only because she has to have a babysitter, and she's just, whatever, 
And she has a wedding ring on, though? Mm. Like, it was a big old diamond? I'm sure, yeah. Like, okay, who cares if you married a doctor? You are just a side piece. Oh, I don't really know. I don't know. Just, oh my god. I'm just getting into her. I don't really care about that. She's just not interesting to me. Uh, shit. Chubby Chaser or something like that. I don't know. Did somebody make jokes like that? I have no clue. And then there's this other girl. She's Mexican or something. She was there. I have no clue. It's like this heavyweight Mexican girl. This heavyweight Mexican girl. I don't know. If she's, she was in scrub, white scrubs or something. I don't know. And she's black hair. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just like not really making any sense because I hate talking off strangers in that hospital and it's not making any sense because it's not relevant. Um, I think she even neglects her son or something. I don't know if she has one. I have no clue. Something about daycare. Like, I have no clue. And shut up. I'm not even, she's not even here. <laughs> so I have no clue. Um, Okay, pasteurized milk. Something about pasteurized milk. Is that something about our product? Like it's yeah, yeah. They 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 like want you to do like fair life milk because uh, it's protein. Milk. Something about that stuff. Yeah. That's that sounds nasty. <laughs> um. Um. The fruit of the soul. Did she say it, like words like that? Fruit of the soul. She says stuff like. That is so fake. <laughs> Hang on, let me think. What is it? Being mindful. Whatever, bitch. You're mindless, loser. Be mindful. <sighs> this girl's getting on my nerves. Like, <laughs> I'm like, it's not selling it. Your body itself is not selling it to me. Sad. I don't care. I'm just mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired of listening to her. <laughs> I don't know. It's not cool. Okay. I guess she goes to the gym too. Like what? Really? Yeah. She, she has abs. Really she has abs though. Yeah. She has pretty good abs. Fuck. Who cares if you're tired of being a nerd? You're still a nerd <laughs> in artificial clothing. You know what I mean? She's like a nerd. She just mm -hmm. grew up being a nerd. I don't care. <laughs> She's dumb. Ugh. But that's okay. It's fine. Whatever. I'm trying to go somewhere else on an airplane or something. I don't know. Have you ever been in an airplane? Mm -hmm. Okay, you had to drink um, water or something. Or you rinsed your mouth out with something, like, for your teeth. Like, you know what I mean? Mouthwash. You used that cup the whole time or something. It was like a white little cup, like plastic cup or something. I haven't been on a plane yet. And it made you nauseous? Maybe. And you sat in a chair, like, like it didn't have two seats. It was like one chair somewhere for a while. Yeah. There was one, there was one flat where... A one-seater. There was one seat down one row and two seats down the other. And you had that little cup, right? The white cup or something? Probably. Yeah, they would have gave us water. Okay. And I guess you used that as mouthwash, too? Maybe. You see that in the bathroom? You would brush your teeth in there on the flight? No. Well, I don't know why I'm seeing that. Maybe at the hotel or something that you had to stay in or something? Yeah. Like after the flight? <sighs> I don't know. And I don't know where you went. Houston or something? I don't know. That's just a guess, but I doubt it. I don't know where. Okay, um, you were preparing for something. Um, you had shorts on with your socks on. <laughs> That would have been Disney World. <laughs> no socks with my shoes tonight. <laughs> you mean your sandals? Yeah. But those were, you were seeing, yeah, you were preparing, preparing. Oh, and you had a Mickey Mouse hat kind of thing? Mm -hmm. It had fur on it? It, w it was ears, right? Yeah. It was not, it was not goofy. Because no. I, I got the goofy one and you got the Mickey No, Mouse I did hat. have a goofy one. Oh, well, you did? Okay, then. I, Fine. But I probably wore both. Okay, I thought I saw both too, but first of all, I want to get to one by one, and then I would have switched and be like, oh, you did get the goofy. <laughs> I've seen that. And you wore them both at the same time too, one time, right? Or not? Maybe. Maybe. I've seen the timeline different or whatever, but you call those things. Um, past, present, future, that's what I call it. Okay, and I don't know, and um, 
You had a red Mickey Mouse shirt on too. It looked like a, a sports one shirt, like with like numbers on, like twenty eight or something. I'm not sure. Is that true or false? Mm, I'm not sure. Like a baseball shirt with Mickey Mouse on it or something, which is cool to me. That would have been nineties, so it's a it's very possible. What you can't remember shirts like that? Those are like epic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, now they would be selling on eBay for like hundreds of dollars. Death, most likely, or something. Um. I don't know where I'm going with this. And you had like one of those wands or something. It was fuzzy and it glue. Mm, I'm sure. It was gl it was a uh, glittery glue, like you know, shiny like that. And I don't know. And um, they would have sold those like at like the parade. Did you go? Yeah. Did so you got that? And then what about the mountain ride? Yeah. Did you go on the that. mountain ride? Something about the mountain. It's really dark and cool. And there was a little kid on there. Like a little brother or something. I don't know. My cousin. I don't know. Okay, cool. <laughs> His little boy. You were him with him with you, I guess. And um Um he was um he doesn't look twelve, but he I guess he faked his age or something, so he'd get on some rides. I don't know. Is I would have been fifteen. He would have um, been like a lot younger. Really young, yeah. But he faked his age. Probably. Because he probably would have been within the hat restrictions. <sighs> Did he have blonde hair? No. Oh, well, then I'm wrong. Don't know. Don't know. I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> I was wrong about that. But I was right about the person that was there. But I don't really know. Okay. What matters? Dang it. Um, the worry about the issue, and that was something that happened. That was something good to pick up on. Where else can I go in your world state, Lee Mind? Ask me some questions so I can get some answers. Like arrows will remember me. <laughs> ask them ask that you way. questions? <laughs> yeah, ask me questions that are like freaking important that a psychic that you want to treat a psychic like, just to see if it will suggest energies to make me see them answers from the unknown basically you're asking the unknown and i'm just gonna see if i can find the answers because i can't ask it y'all it's only for you only for y'all the message is for y'all it's nothing to do with me i'm just the messenger when is when is it gonna be the right time for me yeah. to you have a calendar you write things down on no well are you going to get a calendar <laughs> No. Did you used to have a calendar? I mean, you? I used my calendar on my phone. Okay, well, did you have to have an actual physical calendar when you were in the Disney thing? Yeah, probably when I was in, yeah, I would have been in middle school, and they made us do these stupid Okay, well, that's what I was saying. I was just seeing that in the past, so I'm, I'm still stuck there. Um, you can go ahead with their questions. and I'm not even there yet, but keep... Um, when it's going to be, like, what's going to be the best time to go to college no i mean like i'm in my last college class okay so i'm not college is what i'm getting anyways yeah like and um is my, is my college degree going to affect my disability oh my gosh i don't know um i don't have an answer i'm trying to look for an answer for my own brain but it's not my brain it's whatever the unknown bullshit I don't, that's a good question. It would be fun to answer and find it. Um, but I was just getting to college first. And so, something about college. <clears throat> gotta grab, it's like grabbing into, you know, one of those things with a bunch of um, notes in it saying who's going to be the winner. And mm -hmm. you pick one out and you see it. And that's how it's like. <laughs> that's how it's like right now. It's all kinds of different ways to communicate. But that's how it is for me right now. I don't know, something about a girl that you're counting on, some chick, to There's so many receive results. Women I don't, in my life. But yeah, there are this girl's um I don't know, let's take a break. When you're in Disney World, you're in the shallow end most of the time. <laughs> when there was just the kitty pool there that you laid down, saddled down, the wave pool. I mean who doesn't have that fun time there? We didn't go to the water park. Well, what happened then? I see a water park then. And you had black swimsuit shorts on. And you usually wear navy blue or something. 
Is that true or false? Yeah. I have navy blue. Um, but this... <laughs> I had some navy blue Adidas shorts that I wore when I was that age. And... And you sat in the wave pool, of course. Yeah, but it wasn't at Walt Disney. Wherever I mean, that was, I'm landing there. <laughs> it was in... It would have been in Little Rock at Wild River Country. Whatever. It's inside of you now. You brought it with you to this place. <laughs> My show. <laughs> <laughs> it's signed up here itself. Reveal itself. Reveal day. There's gotta be... I can't... I don't know how to answer that question, but you're relying on some girl, blah, 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 and... If it once gets stronger, then I'll get there. But I, I just gotta get somewhere so I know that I'm not lost. <laughs> just wanted to chill. Oh, um, a moment in time. Country music. Who doesn't like country music? <laughs> you don't like country music? <laughs> that's what I think. And I'm just, that's why. I don't know. I really do think that you don't, You, but I'm like, what are you talking about? Who could not? I love Okay, it. so like, I like old country music. Right. Like, not the new stuff. And not, like, not the new stuff. I don't know anything about what's new or what's lat, but that's cool, interesting. But what was that one moment in time? Where did that song come from? All, all of a sudden you're listening to it. Maybe somewhere. Probably at the water. I don't know. Do you know what the song's from? Mm -hmm. In a moment in time. I don't even know if that's country. But you know what I'm talking about right now? Yeah. Sounds I, know, I know the song. Um, I don't know. I mean, I was... We would have sang it. I just, I just hear it passing by. Cool. A choir. Okay. Um, did your... I don't know. Did your choir teacher blow a whistle? Sometimes. Really? Okay. Good. And she has glasses? And she has brown short hair? Mm -hmm. Really? So I'm getting somewhere... Um, and, um, you had a toy truck? You played with toy trucks? Yeah, when I was little. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't, though? Well, I like Barbies. <laughs> I like Barbies, too. I like Barbie cars. <laughs> but you had the toy trucks. <laughs> I didn't have toy trucks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, what was the other thing? Cool. I love toys. Um, um, and, um... Let's see, um, some guy named Daniel, I don't know, anything to do with him and your choir, some guy who, yeah. who sang, and he was preppy? No, not preppy. Oh, well, there was a preppy guy that w that sang, and he was a very good singer, but everyone praised him for it anyways. <laughs> so There's a couple of guys like that. Okay, and he, he had blonde hair. I think. And then there was this guy named Matthew or something, and he had curly, short, brown hair. Yeah. And he had blue eyes. But I think so. And very, he, he's tan, but I don't know. <sighs> he looks like a peanut head or, or not a weird, I don't know. Yeah. He's kind of um, just bland, but um, whatever. Um, I don't know. And then, I don't know. Looking at all these people in your choir class, maybe I'm not sure. How you're not supposed to be with a girl. There's no girls are not allowed to be in your choir class. There's mostly all boys, but there was this one girl with glasses, and she was really short, and she had brown straight hair, and she was in the front because she was short. Do you know mm -hmm. anything about that? Yeah. I'm guessing I'm seeing her, and the blonde hair guy was behind her, <laughs> standing, and then Matthew was on the right side of. That blonde hair guy. Is that right? Probably. And you were the tallest or something? <laughs> yeah. And so you were on the left? On the back. In the back. Yeah, yeah, in the very back and the left. At the end. Oh my goodness. I'm right. I'm seeing where y'all choir's positions are. Mm hmm And there was a short-haired girl over there in the middle, and it was blonde hair, and she was a hoot. She had short blonde hair. And she's heavyweight and kind of tall, but she's the medium section. She's in between going to be medium and the tallest in the back. The choir teacher couldn't decide where to put her. But she, 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 she was on the right side. <sighs> I don't know. Um, there was, but there was, a, there was a favorite guy in that class of yours. There was something one of your favorites. 
And here is the sword of this. And on the right, here's one of your favorite people in there or something like that. <laughs> um, I mostly like hung out with the girls, but like yeah. I was friends with everybody, so yeah. Hmm. And I will come back. Question, you ready? Um, okay. Good at influencing people. And no, being hypnotized and charming. The energy itself is like sparkling to the soul and touching to the featuring of myself and thinking I'm blind and... Uh, <laughs> well, okay. guess what? Virgos, when I went through Virgos, and I get the second ring and everything. Like, I give you one, and then some, I give you a second ring. Right. Okay. And so, like, I forgot when I discovered, I don't know how to explain that to myself yet. I cannot know what I was talking about. Because I don't, I don't remember right now. Um, fuck yeah. Anyways, continue. What? <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> okay. We're um, talking about Capricorn. Yeah, we were. I was just interested in seeing that my way with me talking about the Virgos. Because <laughs> I'm way more interested in the Virgo than ever would be out of all, uh, yeah, the mental note. But, you know, I'm a big fan of the Taurus, so that's my number one favorite. And Virgos are my second favorite. Yeah. But that's more than just my second favorite because it gets to be my mirror, my assigned self, which is Pisces. But I'm also on the cusp of Aquarius, so I'll... Find the Leans, Leo is a liar, I don't know, and then that would be a different type of harmony, but this is like the sun sign harmony, the ego and the willpower. My Mercury, your Mercury, what was your Mercury in, do you remember? Are you not going to be educated enough to remember? So that's why we're, we're satisfied with the sentimentality of your own knowledge of what it actually means, because it's important, I guess it feels like it's per important. It gives me purpose. It's my business. Cause that's my business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I have something really funny to say. I'm still recording myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Um, <clears throat> that was a good song. Everything's paused, so I won't get copyright. Okay. <laughs> no more being worried about that. Yeah. So the Capricorns and the Virgos and the Tauruses, they all are signs, all kinds of stuff, right? And they they rule the money and all that bullshit. But Virgos made me learn it the best, <laughs> I guess. Like, uh, to, oh man. Like, Virgos come up with some shit I love to think about. Because <laughs> of the analyzers. <laughs> yeah. And the best skeptics, and then the best, um, like, psychologists. If you want psychology to exist, I wouldn't trust it with anybody else, because, like, a Taurus wants to be a psychologist. No, you don't. Get over yourself. But anyways, <laughs> okay, a Virgo is the person who hypnotizes each other. That's what it became. That was the first beginning of this, this thing. That's why I think that they, and I know from experience, because I, okay, from giving second readings to Virgos made me, uh, realize, uh, <laughs> Oh, all my own reality with me, <laughs> okay? Uh, whatever. But I am nothing like a Virgo, but like, yeah, I am. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have all these questions that I have to say with all the thoughts. Do you analyze? Yeah, like let's get to that together. Well, I can, I can meet you there <laughs> with that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're very critical. I'm on the cusp of Aquarius. I'm moon in Aquarius. I think they're the most critical signs in Pisces. I don't know. What do you think about them? Have you ever met all of them? Yeah, <laughs> think about your band more, not me. <laughs> like, I know. I know. Like, some Pisces. Okay, well, forget them. I am nothing like them. I will never be. <laughs> and that's what a Virgo's answer is to uh, when I ask and tell them about a astrology of a Virgo. But it's always true. So. <laughs> I'll never stop. I believe in what I know for sure about Virgos. Mostly that they are hypnotizing and they help me with my psychic abilities with going to look at past lives and stuff. And they will the uh, relationship with animals. So if I go towards reading animals, I can do that. Talk about something for me. <laughs> what do you want me to talk about? What do you want people to talk about? What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're a pretty good dancer. 
my head right here. <laughs> so then I like squawk a black hole. <laughs> Inspired. I can't get out of my face. I can get in the I can get in the Okay. Expression. Express myself. Express yourself. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. I'm all like there. But can you do this clarity fringe tag? You go do that. Let's see what come you come up with. Yeah, y'all should do that. <laughs> and y'all win a record of having done what I've suggested. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll make it happen anyways, probably. Do polarity videos and exercise your psychic ability. I've always said Pisces are most psychic on the Virgo. That's how I've been running. I got to be living with myself. <laughs> That's so strange. Anyway, show us what we can do. I don't know what episode I'm going to make myself be. <laughs> Look, know. Walt Disney World on her shirt. I know, right? That's groovy. You know what? She's a Pisces right there on the right. And then on the left, she's, um, I forgot. Um, but I know that she's a Pisces. And then I looked up her, too, but I don't remember. I don't know. I'll look it up. <laughs>